In this video, we're going to learn how to solve initial equations with Casio FS and our ES Plus calculator easily in a matter of seconds, especially for multiple choice questions. And after going through this video, we will be able to solve problems involving initial equations. So ensure you stay with me to the end of this video. Okay, so let's begin with the examples I have here. Example 1 here says simplify this equation 1 over 5 the power 2x minus 3 equals 625. So let's bring the Casio calculator and solve the problem together. Okay, so as usual, I recommend you clear your calculator. To do that, you press shift button 9, follow the instruction, want to clear or press 3, quote to quote again. Now let's input the values exactly as, as it is appearing here. So we have an open bracket fraction. 1 over 5 packet close so the power is 2x alpha alpha x minus 3 alright so you come down now you don't press equal to this equal to it will give you something else as you can see, you're not meant to get 1, 2, 5 because you're not done solving, right? So you go back to the right equal to, to bring it out, you simply press alpha, cac, and the equality side commands, then we have 6, 2, 5. So, having reached this point, you don't press equal to again, this one to get the answer. If you do it, it will give you mass error, syntax error. So, to avoid that, to get the answer, you press shift. Cac. Now when you get this point, I recommend you work with a neutral number zero. So you assign x to be zero because I worked with it for a long time. I have not found any error with it. So to do that, you press zero and press equal. So as you can see, our answer is minus zero point five. Or minus 1 over 2 as the case may be so that's the answer to this question 1 very very simple now let's look at question 2 it looks a bit technical but very very simple now before you solve it if you are new to this channel ensure you subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscribe button now and the, and the bell icon for instant notifications each time we release or drop a new video also like the video to help the algorithm for this video Okay, so example two we have two the power is two x alpha x you come down plus four so in brackets we have two the power is x alpha x You come down, close the bracket, right? So we have, we have minus 32, yeah, right? Now, to bring out the quality, by now you should know, you not press this one. You press alpha cac equals zero. Right, so that is only what we have there. So once you are done, to get the answer, you press shift cac. Now you assign x to be 0 in each number as I have recommended. So once you have done that, you press equal to this equal to to get the answer. So you can, as you can see, the answer was 0. So let me assign the 0 back so that you see it. So as you can see, the answer to this question is 2. Very, very simple. So guys, this is it. Now let's solve one more example, which is example 3, and after it, we call it a class. Okay, so let's wipe this. So example 3, we have it to be 3, the power is 2x. Alpha x, we come down, minus 3. The power is alpha x plus 2. So, to bring out the 
we come down uh, right so to bring out the politics I press alpha cock right so we have theory the power is x plus one we have alpha x plus one right we come down then lastly we have minus 27 so that's it to get the answer I press shift cac and assign x to be a neutral number which is 0 press 0 and then press this equal to so the answer will display ok so answer is 1 when x is assigned a neutral number the unknown variable here is what 1 very very simple so guys this is basically how you can solve initial equ equations with Castle calculator easily for multiple choice questions now it's also very very helpful for theoretical questions like we have here so in case you want to solve it theoretically you can do it and also use the calculator to verify your answer so that you'll be at a safer side, you understand? So guys, so that's it for this class. I've already solved this question to it, Kali, and the answers the calculator is giving me are the same with what I got when I solved each and every one of them to it, Kali. So the answers the calculator is giving me are the same. So guys, that's it for this class. If you're new to our channel, be sure you subscribe to our channel for more of our videos. Also like, share and comment on this video to tell me how you feel regarding what I've learned in this class. If you seem to have any specific questions to ask, feel free to leave a question in the comment section below and I'll be sure to give you a response. That's it for this class guys. Thanks for watching this video.